It's another mat day here with teacher Jenny. Join me for another topic. This time we're going to discuss how to determine whether it's going to be discrete probability distribution or not. Let's start with our first example. Now, how would we know if this is a discrete probability distribution or not? Now, first thing is you have to examine each of your probability if it does satisfy our first property in which our first property for every probability distribution is our probability here, which is our P of X, will be equal to zero or greater than zero, but less than or equal to one. So that one, that's our first property. So meaning we're going to check this one. If our table, each of your probability there satisfies the first property or condition for each, year, each of your probability. So let's start with this one. This one is within your zero to one value. This one also, and this one, this one, and this one also. So that means to say our first property is satisfied. Let's go to the second property or condition. Our second condition here says that the summation of your P of X. So the sum here of your P of X will be always equal to 1. So this is now summation of your P of X sub i, where i here is equal to 1 until n, that will be equal to 1. So, what do we mean by this? This would simply mean that you are going to add all those probabilities in here. Once that is equal to 1, that means this is now a probability distribution. So, adding up this one here, 0 0.15 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.35 plus 0 0.05 plus 0 0.13. This is just equal to 0 0.93, in which that's not equal to 1. So your second property is not satisfied at all. This is not a probability distribution. So again, in order for you to tell that this is a probability distribution, it must be that the two properties there will be satisfied. If you find that one of your probability there is not satisfying the first condition or property there, then do not go through adding all your probabilities because automatic, that will be not a probability distribution. Let's go to our second example. Second example, it says here, uh, we have 1 over 36, 1 over 12, 5 over 36, 7 over 36, 1 fourth, and 11 over 36. So that is why if you are going to check if this is really a probability distribution, you better check all the probabilities first if they are within 0 to 1 values. Looking at that, this is a fraction, so one way of you identifying or knowing whether it's between 0 to 1 value is for you to look at the numerator. If the numerator is smaller than the denominator, then this is okay. And as long as we have they're all positive. So that means it's okay on property number 1. Now let's go to property number 2. This is now adding. So before we add this, we have to make it into similar fractions. So we have here 12. On one fraction here, we have to make it 36 by simply multiplying 112 here by 12 here will be making it into 36. And how to do that one? We just simply multiply the denominator by 3 and so with the numerator. So this will become now 3 over 36. So we have here 1 over 36, adding that one to 3 over 36 plus 5 over 36 plus 7 over 36. One fourth here will be making this one into 36 as the denominator as well. 
So we have 1 fourth multiplying this one with, for 4 there to make it into 36, we just multiply that by 9. So as your numerator. So this is now 1 times 9, that's 9. 9 over 36. And this is now added with 11 over 36. Adding everything up, we have 1 plus 3, that's 4, plus 5, that's 9, plus 7, that's 16, 16 plus 9, that's 25, plus 11, that's 36. So this is now 36 over 36, or simply this is 1. So that means this is a probability distribution. So let me just write my shortcut on the probability distribution here as PD. Next, we go to the next example. So this example here is not a probability distribution because again, in our first property, it says there, it should not be containing negative numbers or greater than one numbers on its probability. But try to look at this one here. It's containing a negative value. Take note, probabilities will only be taking values from zero to one and in between those zero and one. So that's it. That is how you are determining whether the table is a probability distribution or not. So I hope you learned something from me today. And again, this is your teacher Jenny saying, in every problem you will have there a solution. Thank you and please do not forget to subscribe, like and share this video for more videos.